clouds and radar looking ahead. So we have the chance to see some sun appearing today, but we are surrounded by the lake, so I don't think that the entire portion of lower Michigan will be clear, especially if you're in the thumb and you're close to the water. You'll probably hold on to some pesky cloud cover, but heart of Metro Detroit going a little farther west starts to see some sun appearing throughout the later part of the morning and sticking around into the early part of the afternoon. But by this evening, clouds roll back in. Winter gray settles in for your Friday. Friday's dry, but then we have a chance for some snow late Saturday. First tonight, 22 degrees, so seasonal, partly cloudy skies, light and variable winds. Looking ahead to tomorrow, we bump back up in temperatures by just a few degrees, so that could take us just slightly above average, but we'll hold on to a little more cloud cover. Now, days since there's been a one inch snowfall, of course, we saw that last year here, um, but off to the east, some major U.S. cities haven't seen an inch snowfall in nearly two years, and that includes Baltimore, D.C., Philly, and New York City. I'm pointing this out. Some of these are records. However, uh, this next system that impacts us this weekend will bring the chance for some snowfall off to the northeast. It'll be a little wintry mix there as well. However, we get some snow on the back edge of that Saturday night going into Sunday morning. Light accumulations at most. The next system that'll be more impactful arrives Tuesday, where we start with some snow. This rain snow line will greatly dictate how much snow we see out of this. It could be a rain event, so a bust for the snow, or if that goes just uh, 50 miles south, I mean, we are talking about a significant snowfall. So we'll be fluctuating with rain and snow as of right now with that data coming in. Quick look at the dusting, maybe half inch that we pick up this weekend. That's the most that we'll see. I want to show you the scenarios, though, for next week's system. It could be as low as a dusting to maybe four or five inches the farther northwest you go. Then this setup has us anywhere from about four inches to closer to eight inches off into Livingston County. So I'm not locking into any snowfall totals because you can see a huge difference in the setup there. So a lot of uncertainty and we'll have to fine tune that forecast for you. But we'll be above average starting tomorrow all the way through the weekend into early next week and in and out of a few precipitation chances.